going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about painting your magazine. Now before you get started, what you want to do is actually get some degreaser or something along the lines of like acetone. Make sure you use safety precautions, use it outside with, you know, great ventilated area and, uh, you know, get a paper towel of some sort. Go ahead and wipe down the entire part. You want to make sure that you get all the grease and all the oils and everything off of the part that you're trying to paint. And what you want to do prior to painting is masking off the areas that are, in my opinion, you know, high use areas. They're areas of engagement. They're areas with uh, tabs and, and uh, locking lugs, etc. You know, here's some. Here's a tab right here. I also want this area to be nice and smooth so that when it goes into uh, the magazine well into the gun, we don't have any sort of uh, you know issues whatsoever. So I like to uh, go ahead and mask this area off. And that's what I like to do, and you can definitely see on different magazines, like I have an AK-74 mag here I did the other day. You know, I like to have that top area right there nice and smooth uh, so that the engagement is consistent each time. So what do you do? You go ahead and set up a little area like I have here. You know, it's just a box. I cut off one side of it. The bottom part, I have a new um, cardboard panel so that, you know, this bottom part here isn't going to get all screwed up with the, you know, uh, spray paint that's on the bottom there. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and set these up and then I'll spray them down. So as you can see there, I went ahead and set them up and you're going to get probably about half a side um, on each time you spray it. So, you know, we're going to do this side first, then we're going to flip them over and do the other side. Before you get started, if you're going into camoing, which I'm not with these particular ones, magazines, I usually just do a single um, color. You know, if you're look, looking to get into actual colors and patterns and stuff, what you want to do is take something that, you know, either you're never going to use or something that's, you know, sitting around and go ahead and take different colors and screw around with that paint job. This one right here I just have different colors on each. I have four different colors on here to kind of see how they interact with each other. And then on this one is just another kind of uh, camo job I did just to see what it looks like. Now what we're using today is Krylon camo paint. You don't actually have to use camo paint. I've used Krylon. You know, well, actually a lot of the colors in this aren't even the camo camo um, variety of Krylon. But I like to use Krylon because you know, it dries really quick. The majority of stuff dries in less than 10 minutes. This stuff says less than 15, but it definitely dries in less than 10 minutes. And uh, it's nice and flat, and it's really easy to work with. And it also has this fusion technology, which bonds the plastics, which is great for magazines that are polymer. So before you get started, go ahead and shake your uh, can up really, really good. So what you want to do is when you're spraying, you want to go from one side to the next. You don't want to stay in one area. You're going to get a nice, you know, huge mess on your hands if you do it like that. So you want to make sure your first coat is really light. You don't want to have it actually come out the color it's supposed to look on the first coat. You just want it to look dusty. So you just want to be about like 12 inches away. Make sure you get the backs. And then you get the fronts. Then you go ahead and let it sit for about five minutes flip it around, do the other side. Now while that's drying, the one thing you can do is actually take these and uh, put your parts in the oven for about 150 degrees, probably about, you know, like 10-15 uh, minutes and uh, it'll definitely bake on the paint a little bit better and it'll make it dry a lot faster. You don't have to, especially with Krylon, I mean the stuff dries, you know, very quickly and it's, it doesn't stay tacky very long. Um, but that's one thing you can do, which I did with this the other day. Go ahead and flip them around, do the other side. Round two. And if you want to add some camo or something, you can go ahead and grab something off the uh, tree around you if you're outside, or go outside and grab a leaf or something like that. Go ahead and put that on there and you can stencil that out and do some camo. Or you can just use paracord as we demonstrated in the uh, how to paint your rifle video. You can also use that method. So if you want to get into painting your mags, it's pretty easy, and especially with this Krylon uh, spray paint, it doesn't even take that much time. So if you want to get into it and do it yourself, like I said, it's easy, it's pretty cheap, at only about $5 a can, and I didn't even use a whole can on uh, any, all these magazines. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys do it yourself, go ahead and make a video about it. Till next time, be later. Parts of you want to actually 